Hey guys, and welcome back to another Conan Exiles Easy Base Edition. Today we'll be building a brewery, a small workshop easily attached to your base. The requirements for this build are on screen now. I've used stone brick and insulated wood, but as you'll see later on, you can use any material you like. I do also recommend having the Riders of Iboria DLC. So without further ado, let's get started. Firstly, I started off with of course the base plate. I built it from stone brick ceilings supported underneath by stone brick pillars to later facilitate the pillar trick. Next, for those pillars. This step is entirely optional. I think the pillars really suit this build, but if you don't like the aesthetic, or if you just want to keep things simple, you can absolutely skip this step. I've set the pillars up in this fashion, all of which I built two tiles above the floor, save for the bottom right one. These will frame the design and add a bit more shape and structure into the build. I then closed off the gaps beneath the ceilings with stone brick walls when all the pillars were in place. Next, the first floor walls. I placed the door frame on the entrance and then a real window at the front of the 3x3 room. I then built the stone brick walls one tile high around the perimeter of this floor. On the next tile up, I replaced the pillars at the top with stable pillars and then used sloping sides to smoothly transition out of stone brick and into the next layer of insulated wood. I also created a small 2x1 area over the door and porch. After replacing the pillars, I then used insulated wooden ceilings to extend out on the second tile, visually supported underneath by decorative beams. I built a simple open gable on either side of what will later be the roof, and this is going to end up being a sort of loft-like storage space. I also added inverted sloping sides beneath the ceiling extension to smooth that transition. Next, the roof. I chose to use insulated wooden roofing for contrast and constructed a very simple roof design. I also built a chimney style segment on the front roof intersection to break the shape of the build just a bit. It sits slightly above the roof and has an open air connection to the build to make things a bit more interesting on the interior. I used reinforced stone doors to close off the door frames atop the chimney, and though I capped it with a rooftop cap here, I would later cap it off with wall caps as opposed to that rooftop piece. Next, the decoration. I built a small ring ceiling to connect the ground floor to the first floor and added a trapdoor at the back side of the 3x3. I then connected the trapdoor to the ground via the ladder and closed off the loft space. With this decoration we are looking for a healthy mix of aesthetics and practicality so the base can look good and fulfil its role. With the basic internal structure done, I added a small cubby beneath the stairs which I'll use as a storage closet. I then began to distribute storage around the build. Seeing as a brewery will use perishable ingredients, I began with preservation boxes in the 2x1 on the first floor, and then used foraging boxes and regular chests below the stairs for storing other non-perishable or any overflow items. I then headed up to the loft to construct the storage here. This is more designed as longer term storage for all sorts of things, so I mainly use chests here alongside some extra foraging boxes. Back on the ground floor, I place some fermenting barrels and an oven so we can brew any beverages we need. Thank you. 
I also added a real window next to the door, so that if you're on a PvE or a roleplay server, you can use this port as a service window, should you wish to roleplay as a brewer that sells his wares from his workshop. For the lighting, I decided on radium torches. Not my usual choice at all, but anything too warm like a hanging brazier or a wall brazier will horribly oversaturate this build, so a radium torch or two with a nice bit of white dye in it will bring out those neutral tones and will work much better. Finally, I made a rear garden. I placed the doorway on the back of the 3x3, and then used the Nordheimer barricades to fence off a decently sized yard. I then used a sunken stable fence foundation with a gate to allow access to the yard from outside. Finally, with the build complete, let's take a look through it. I've decorated the outside a little more with relevant signage and a delivery cart, alongside some seating for the customers. Entering the brewery, things are much the same, though I have included some extra visual decoration that helps to build on the aesthetics and purpose of this workshop. The loft remains the same, though I have added a large ale keg. In retrospect, some extra kegs or barrels to replace some of the chests may have been a better thematic choice. Finally, in the garden, this is a small source of natural ingredients for the brewer. You've got leavening, hops, berries, flowers, and a beehives for honey. And there we have it, a nice and simple brewery designed to be easily attached to, or included within your base. However, as with every EBA I've done, this isn't a set in stone design. You can use Stormglass, Ketan, Namidian, anything you like. This design is meant to be fairly easy to replicate, so regardless of which material choice you prefer, you should be able to achieve that within this build. And that finishes off the brewery. A lot of you seem to really enjoy the EBA series, and of course a big thanks goes to Pyro for suggesting this specific build. Thank you for watching, and of course a massive thanks to our wonderful esteemed coffee cultists for continuing to support the channel over on Patreon. I hope you've all enjoyed this build, and if you have any suggestions for future EBA builds, do let me know down in the comments. Again, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you soon.